Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I'm at the track rental I just got here. It's a little misty. DA is like 1400. 100% humidity in the air. Got the white walker out here, trying to go nines. I just adjusted my uh, my shocks. Uh, compression is six, rebound is nine. So that's what's going on so far. Stang mode's actually here. We have Helion car. We have a Whipple car down there. So should be an exciting day. It's a small private rental. Not a lot of people out, out here. So gonna get some seat time. Try to crack nines. Hopefully it happens. I won't know for a little while. Waiting for them to give us an okay to actually make some passes. So wish me luck. It's pretty sticky. Um, my 60 foot isn't doing good. I actually just lost my shoe, but it sucks. Uh, it's starting to rain again. It's pretty sticky. So I made three passes so far. The best pass being 10 to five at 133. It's really humid. 100% humidity. It's been misting all morning. Uh, hopefully it gets a little better the weather. Maybe I can make a clean pass. I don't know if nine is coming today, but we'll find out. So we got about four hours left of the rental. And man, it's sticky up there. I was bitching. I thought I was spinning. It's pretty sticky. So guys, I just want to make this clear because I'm sure people are going to ask questions in the comment. Was I running full interior in the car? Absolutely. I had the back seats in and also the passenger seat was still inside the car when I made this pass. Um, did I pulley down yet? No, I'm still running a 3.6 pulley which comes pretty much standard on that uh, V3 JT trim blower that I am running. So <clears throat> I'm just putting it out there. I just want to show you how much of a difference the suspension actually makes um, on the S550. You know, the car is equipped with an IRS, so it could be a little, you know, sometimes it really takes some work and some parts to really get the car to hook. But the car hooked for me, yes, I used a trans brake, you're gonna see in this video. Um, I'm very, very happy with my tuner. Um, Rob from Palm Beach Dino really does the right thing by me. Um, he was pretty much track side with me the whole time. Um, I was getting um, a false knock reading, so the car was pulling some timing um, pretty much mid-track, so it did slow me down a little bit. I know there's a lot more left in this car, but guys, if you're really into drag racing, 
And if you follow my channel and you're following my build, you, you know that this, I need 73 passes so far on this setup. And I constantly bring that up because I just want to show you the reliability and the consistency that the Vortec kit has been for me on my car. So I like to share that with you guys. And I'm also doing everything in steps. If you don't know or you did not realize yet, I'm doing things little by little. I'm not just going out and buying everything in one shot and putting it on the car. So, you know, my journey started at, you know, my first pass I ever made with this car um, was 11.4 at 128 miles per hour. Um, the transmission tune wasn't dialed in at the time. I literally put the car together. Uh, we threw it on the dyno. We got a number. It was on the trailer the next day off to the track. I ran at a higher altitude track than my usual track that I go to. It was pretty much, it was a very high DA. Um, so I wound up ripping my bumper off and everything. So now you're going to see where I've, how far I've gone with the car. But these 73 passes, it's been pretty consistent. And just to repeat myself again, because I forgot what I really wanted to say is, yes, I'm on a 3.6 pulley. I still have full interior. Oh my God, you know what I did? I dumped the washer fluid out because that saves about nine pounds. I did have this front sway bar connected which i totally forgot about um i mean pretty much the tune was just tweaked a little bit not much was changed uh, you could see that i 60 footed so my mile per hour came down about i don't know came down a few mile per hour but it was a really bad day for racing in general when we got there the track was missing misting it was missed the whole day it was 100 percent humidity the day was about 1450 i think when i made that pass so, I mean, yeah, it is a low altitude track. People definitely get good numbers at this track. It's like maybe like 30 feet above sea level. So like I usually say, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm happy for you to join me in this build. I don't know how far it's gonna get, but as you could see, every month it's just getting more serious as I go. So I do plan on, I do have big plans for the car. Um, I'm thinking after this October 20th call out, I'm gonna settle down for a little bit, pretty much that'd be the last race of the season for me. And uh, I'm gonna get moving on to bigger and better things which you'll see videos to come about that. So thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Any questions, you're more than welcome to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. 
and I will put a link in the description for all the suspension parts that I installed on the car this previous week before I hit the track and I pulled my best time and my best 60 foot ever so it's very exciting a lot a lot of good things to come so on that note peace